is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Let's go to Eddie in Bocaton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this uh, Wednesday, the 9th of August at 3 p.m. or 3.10 p.m. Sorry, we're just a tad late because I had a little technical problem, but we're all set. Uh, Tom's out this afternoon. I'm sitting in. Dow's down 36 at 36,277. Like yesterday, we had a very sharp early morning sell-off. You can see it here in the, if I've still got this chart, hopefully. Yeah, you got the futures that were down really sharply. Uh, there it is. Uh, plummeting down to the left side low of, look at this, all the way back to the low that was made at 11.10 on the, if I can read it from here, on the 8th. That's yesterday morning. We went all the way back, tested that uh, 44.82 uh, level, went down to 44, what was it, 44.78, bounced up to a peak D to the 200 period moving average exactly at a peak D, in the 10-minute chart, it was a peak G in the Chapman Wave methodology in the 5-minute chart over the 9-period moving average and a peak F in the 1-minute chart. Now we're pulling back. This is the, the same thing we saw yesterday. There's a ton that we need to discuss. Let me just move over to this chart right here. There we are. So this is what we're looking at. The, a technique that I've been using for, oh, just forever, uh, one that I've been discussing for a while is that if the nine period moving average finally crosses underneath the, the, the 14 period moving average, turns pink in this particular case, green when it's positive, pink when it is, uh, is negative, it can take a while to do. And, and we've seen that with the Dow, even with the selling this morning, it's getting closer and closer, but it hasn't turned negative. But wait a minute, look at the S&P. The S&P, the same, just these three lines. The gray line is the price of whatever we're following. In this case, it's the Dow. The green line is the nine-period moving average. The black line is the 14-period moving average. Here we go. Watch this. The S&P went pink yesterday, pink today, down 12 at 44.86, it just, it means something, and I'll go through what it means in a moment, but it is really quite exciting in this particular phase to see that we finally got the deflection lower in the QQQ, uh, down 266 and 369.31, look at that, a few days now, pink, look at the IWM, it did not cross pink at all, um, it's on the edge, the RTY, which is the futures, did cross pink. Look at that. Just started the pink. That means it's turned negative on that one indicator, but I call it the indicator of last resort. Why do I call it that? Because like the Federal Reserve is the bank of last resort. So I look at this that very often when look when it when the market pulled back so sharply uh, back in um, in June. You would expect that that green line would turn pink. It never did. And it's only went pink a couple of for a day or two back in June. Look at this for the for the S and P. It only went negative briefly way back in May. And that was at the forty one, I think it was twenty level. Let me just check. Uh forty one well it was between forty 84 and 4147 and now it's gone pink for the first time this is the first time it's gone for two days actually so with that and then the smh's which is the semiconductor which is the indicator that i always consider is the the one that really leads markets up and down look at that pink okay now enough with those charts let's get back to the real story here um let's go through everything oh i keep i'm not used to this because i had to quickly uh, reconvene my whole computer when uh, in that little break that we had before we start so the dow's down 21 and i'll go through everything as we move along we've got gold 
sharply lower, down 10 at 1949. This whole 1940s is going to be a test of strength. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien. See you in a few moments. Tigers. Candlestick pattern analysis is a primary tool among successful traders, and you should be no different. Candlestick patterns can demystify buy points, sell points, general price movement, and so much more. At 4 p.m. on Monday, August 14th, trader Teddy Kekstadt will be hosting a live, hour-long webinar on Japanese candlestick patterns. Teddy, the author of the Tiger Forex Report, has been trading for 33 years, and candlestick patterns have been instrumental to his success. For just $97, see how to use candlestick patterns to analyze stocks and options in order to capitalize on market swings, increase your odds of success, and decrease your risk. During this live webinar, you will learn when to use and when not to use Japanese candlestick patterns in this volatile market. Dispel the myths about this strategy and see just how much the mastery of candlestick pattern recognition can impact your trading. Visit TFNN.com today. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Here's the E-Money one-minute chart, down 13 point, down 14 at 4505. So we got this this top, we got this top right here, and as I see it, up, sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna just tell this person, uh, sorry, gonna be late. There we are. Uh, we're looking at this nine period moving average in the one minute E mini chart. Look how many bars it took before the nine turned down and went pink after this peak F doji candle, peak F top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven bars. Eleven bars. Oh, I meant to do this. Oh, sorry, everybody. This is just one of those days. What can I say? Uh, got it. Okay. Um, it took 11 bars before it went pink, and then it still had a little bit of a bounce. And now, look what it's done from the 45.18 level. Look where it is, down to 45.04. So I'm saying to you, using this particular technique, let me see if I can get it. Here we go. Here's the Dow. Uh, this is a Tesla chart you're looking at. Uh, down very sharply, gap down at that peak G right there at about the 284-ish level. No, I think it was more than that. It was almost 300. So let me just show you here. This is the Dow. 
and the Dow's been the strongest of the indices. So this is just one, two, three, four, five, six. And just for disclosure purposes, my subscribers, we're, we're short the Dow from August the 1st at the, the high of 35,679. Uh, that day we went short. Uh, but this is the issue. We're still long core positions from 2020 and 2023. But on the shorter term, this is what we're expecting, some kind of a pullback. And it might take that amount of time. Another, maybe by only next week, when we see the Dow weaken and start to break the 35,000 support, call it 34,900 and break under that. If it does that, it could still hold well. That's the whole thing about this 914. But look at the S&P. With the S&P pulling back a little bit here, down 12, you can see we've got, it's underneath, it's in leg B to the downside. It's got that huge gap. It hasn't even tried to fill the gap in the 4550s. The MACD is weak. The stochastic is trying to bounce, but it's down at 20%. On balance, the blue line is weak. This is a daily chart. Relative strength is weak. And you've got um, the, the nine period moving average finally turning down. So now what we're looking at, and this is going to be quite important, is that within the context of all the different indices, the IWM, the Russell 2000, um, as it stands right now, down to 1.15 at 191. Uh, 93. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh session, and it still hasn't turned pink. When it turns pink, the wider the aperture, the wider the distance when it turns pink, that means the wider the nine period moving average is away from the 14, the deeper and stronger will be the pullback. But in the weekly charts, the, all the weekly charts are still really good. SMHs, uh, for disclosure purposes, here again, I need to just mention that we are short. Uh, from the 159s, and we've also got the inverse short. Uh, 161.17 was the highest trading at 151. With the Samus, you can never pat yourself on the back because you never know. Like an NVIDIA happens to be down today, uh, down 17 at 428.84. And uh, at any point, it could have a turnaround. Look, it has these sudden spikes to the upside. You just never, never know. Now, I need to get to this right away. The TLT, this is the uh, bonds, this is the iShares 20-year Treasury bond ETF. Very important. What we're looking at here, there was what I call a Chapman wave. It's just, it's, it didn't fit all the criteria, but it fit many of the, the, the parameters that I like, like to look at on a huge multi-gap down. Some, to summarize, the cascade, the waterfall cascade with each bar, just to look at the gaps, are almost the size of the bars themselves on the way down for bonds. On the 3rd of May at 94.54, suddenly you get some support and you get a sharp reversal. And I call that the Chapman Wave price climax, price volume climax. And one of the reasons is there's huge volume. In this case, the volume really wasn't big enough. I would have the volume even 20 million more than it was in the 60 million area. Nah. I think this is just a bounce. I think there's going to be an arch formation, and we might start to come down. The whole thing is 96 to 95. It's going to be tremendous. That's key support. It's a 97.14 right now. If you're looking at high-grade copper, high-grade copper keeps trying to rally and fails. In Chapman, we've been always looking for peak Ds with a sharp pullback. We got that pullback from the just over four level in the continuous contract. Nice inside bar today, 379. But you can see the weekly charts really working very hard to be able to sustain a move to the upside. Let's go to gold. Uh, gold is down 10 at 1949. These pyramid formations, I didn't have a chance to put this in. But let me show you right now what I like to do. I like to do a price time match. And what that means is you take the left side low, of obvious low, that starts a buy signal that goes to a buy mode to at least a D. Well, this went to a D and then one bar later it goes to an E at about just under 2030. This is gold itself, 20, 2030. Then it pulls back. Now, if I use this, this plumb line of peak E right there, I can go to the right side and I can go click. And what do I get? I get... Tomorrow is the session that says, will it test the low that was made on the um, 29th of June at 1940 on the continuous contract? So far, we're at 1949. So that uh, these lines that you see here, it's because the continuous contract, it gets uh, smoothed out. So the price always changed, but none of the 
any of the other technicals change, everything's the same. The patterns are the same. The Only the price changes, the peaks and the Chapman Wave methodology, all the same. So you've got gold possibly going to make a, tr a leg C to the downside below that 1940 low of the week of the 30th of June. That's not so good. But if you look at silver, it's a slightly different pattern. Silver is trading um, down 0.04 at 22.76. It's got a little bit more of a way to go down. And it could take a little longer, but the low of the um, in June, the low of the 23rd of 27.32, that's going to be key to monitor. So as we're looking at this, you've got gold and silver wheat. You've got the TLT kind of strong. You've got the dollar. <laughs> now let's go to the dollar. The dollar is, remember the buy signal to buy mode in the chat wave takes you to at least peak D. It can go higher to E, F, and G, but D is your objective. Once you get there, you analyze it. And in this case, the nine-period moving average is still very strong in the daily chart of the dollar. The MACD is good. The stochastics over 80%, well, just barely at 80.57. Relative strength is not that great. So we're looking at it and saying, all right, dollar, you show us, because if you can get to, this is the dollar I'm talking to, 102.94, somewhere around there, there's a really good chance that you're going to tag the 200-period moving average average 113.16 and that 200 period moving average has been resistance for a long time even when it held over that for about two and a half three weeks it still came back and then when it retested back in july it couldn't break above the 200 period moving average that'll become a magnet if the dollar can go just a little higher look at the eur usd this is the euro dollar made a peak d remember the fourth highest peak here's your peak d way back in uh, april had a double top, pulls back very sharply, um, and it breaks out, goes all the way to the 1.13-ish level. Now it's down at 1.09. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. See you in a moment. And the Dow right now, I can't see the figures, but the Dow is down 12. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts. 
while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, Basil Chapman sitting in talk for Tom O'Brien on this uh, Wednesday, the 9th of August. We're looking at the Dow down 32. And let me just go through a couple of things here because we were looking at gold, we we're looking at silver, uh, we're looking at uh, the uh, copper contract. But wait a minute, natural gas. Let's go to natural gas, the continuous contract, a huge move up. 2.963 at this point, up at 18 uh, ticks. Uh, this is a breakout in what I was doing on my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, which is at 10 to uh, 11 uh, each uh, weekday more work market day. Uh, we're looking at the monthly, the weekly chart finally is broken above that uh, resistance. The nine, nine, didn't I draw this in? Oh, I did. I did this morning. I had questions about it and I drew it in. Uh, so let me do this on the UNG chart, UNG. This is the UNG's United States uh, Natural Gas Fund, trading at 7.96 up 45 cents. This is a nice breakout. Uh, usually in a Chapman Wave cup and ladle breakout pattern, it's a peak B that spirals above the left side high. You see there's a price time match to this particular midpoint right here. I call it the plumb line. And we've broken out a couple of days early. That to me is really important because it's saying, now look at the technicals. Well, the nine is strongly above. This is the green line is way above the 14. The MACD is good. It's not great, but it's good. It's not as good as it was when it hit that high, that back in 770 something uh, back in uh, uh, early July or late June. But this is important. What's going on is that the stochastic is a 77% rising very strongly with this blue line, the unbalanced volume, and b below it, inside there, there's a little green line. That's a gray line. That's the, the relative strength index. I like when you've got everything in sync. And that says for the first time, the break that we've got now is working in concert with higher highs, and higher lows. So let's do this. This is what uh, almost all the technicians here at, at, C, at TF and N do. They do the one-to-one. -one. I do this in a particular pattern. This is a slightly different pattern. I call it the Chapman Wave one-to-one -one extension. And it comes from a pattern I call the falling axe. But in this particular instance, it's slightly different. But look at this. It says that there's a chance from this low here that by um, later in August, we should be testing the, uh, it could happen much sooner. I'm just saying this would be the pattern that I'm looking at. And that would say 8, 855. Well, it could do that really quickly. If this is a move up that says, hey, we're coming into the winter, of course, it's still August, but we're thinking winter, you've got to start planning in the natural gas. It just certainly didn't work from last July through the winter uh, this year, we kept just going lower and lower. But I, I would have to say, based on the chart formations, based on this bull formation that might turn into a cup formation in the weekly chart, that if UNG, natural gas uh, fund, if it's able to hold in, I wouldn't say oh, whole of August, it has to be in within going from Friday week, giving it just all of next week. If it can hold the 730 to 720 support on any pullback, preferably make one more higher high. It can be tomorrow, it could be uh, Tuesday, I don't care. But if it can start to trade in the eight tens, it wants to become a little bit comfortable with eight. It hasn't been in the eight area for a long time, for months. 
So that will be really important. So this is one of the signs that we're looking at. If you look at crude oil, look at this crude oil breaking out here. This is almost the same cup formation that we're looking at in the uh, weekly chart. This resistance level in the 83s is broken out. It's at 84.32 right now. Oh, the monthly looks just terrible. The weekly, now let me, this is always fascinating to me. It looks, it looks kind of interesting right now. But when I put it into this context, longer term, look at this. This is very unusual. What we've got here is <clears throat> within the, uh, this is a little bit too high. You can't actually see, there it is. Now you can see the candle. Within this particular, and I'm gonna make this a dashed line so that you, you know what I'm looking at here. Yeah, so within this context, you can see it's really just stuck in a trading band, but this is the first sign that crude oil could be breaking out. Now, if you've got crude oil breaking out, if you've got, if you've got the TLT making this H, to M pattern in the weekly, that's bonds, in the weekly chart, holding the left side low of 91.85 and actually rallying. And at any point, if the TLT starts to trade intraday, this is a weekly chart, but even intraday, if it's able to get to 103.25, just it needs to touch the 100s and then going to the 102, 103 level. That's going to be a change of scenario completely. So, and that's that's something we're looking at. But you know that it hasn't really affected. Let me get out of this and show you something really interesting. Look at this uh, dollar HGX. This is the Philadelphia Housing Sector Index broke out of the monthly chart to a leg C to all time highs. This is during this period where everyone's talking about big crashes coming in the market. No, you've got the housing sector index doing so fantastically. You the weekly chart is going sideways in a consolidation. It should be pulling back. But look at the daily. It's refusing to really turn down. And this is you know, all-time highs. This is really unusual. So within that context, each sector is doing its own thing. Within each sector, you've got something very special. Look at this, Amazon. Uh, Amazon is part of the XRT. That's the S&P uh, retail index pulling back, trying to uh, fill some of the gap here, but it spiked very sharply. Look at the weekly chart. Isn't this fascinating? Look at this beautiful cup formation. It's like a, like a heart almost. Uh, and now it's coming back up, or probably like a kidney. And now what it's doing is it's still walking the line. It's still very, very strong in terms of momentum in the weekly chart. MACD is good. Stochastic's good at 87%. On balance volume is not that great. But it's stuck in the range. 145.57 was the high back in, was it September, uh, August, the week of the 19th? Oh, exactly a year ago. 145, 145.57 plunges down to a low of 80, 81.69 uh, the week of 30th of December, 2022. And then it goes right back to where? 143.63. I mean, within... Two points? I mean, really, how these things do it is just amazing. And it's a beautiful cup formation. Look at this. Beautiful cup formation. And you go right there. Look at that. So Amazon's taking a bit of a breather. Nothing wrong with that. Um, they had a spectacular gap up move. It's held the gap pretty well so far. Look at Apple. I was going to do Apple in my show, the target technicians out this morning, but I've done a lot with Apple. I showed as it was happening, I said, look, it made a peak D. That's the fourth highest peak right there on the on the 19th of July at 198.23. Let me type that in. I have to 198.23 on the something of July. Uh, it's called the 17th. I'll make. I'll, I'll change that if I'm wrong. 17th of July, and here it is at 178. It's just 20 points, but these 20 points have taken out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight weeks of action. Actually, eight weeks of action to the upside. The speed with which it's come down says either we're using time in this particular digestive phase or price. Or time and price. We'll talk about that when I return. Basil Trapp is sitting here for Tom O'Brien. And let me have a quick glance. We've got the Dow. <clears throat> the Dow is down uh, 66 and the SP is down 40. Be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Hi, folks. I always love the, the Tom O'Brien show when you get that uh, the kind of echo. Tom O'Brien, that is great. Well, we're missing Tom, but Tom will be back tomorrow. He's just uh, I couldn't make it today. Something came up at the last minute, and I just happened to be here. Um, my tennis buddies are going to have to wait. Uh, what we're looking at is the Dow uh, Transports. I, I love this. How many how many syllables are there? So I shares Dow Jones Transportation Average Index Fund. Um, so isn't that interesting, huh? Anyway, the 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 transports we call them made a peak in this beautiful channel. I've been using channels uh, ever since I became a technician way back uh, as uh, just way back when I started hand charting on, on engineering paper with pencil and paper. Um, and channels are fantastic if, if you know how to use them. But I didn't even need the pink one over here. I, I put it in just to show that there is this movement within two straight lines, diagonal lines, that bounces like a ping pong ball in between each of them. So I say uh, um, paddle ball or what have, we, what have we got here? We've got, all right. What we've got here is now it's on the way down. It's probably going to produce the same kind of channel on the way down. So let me just draw this in here. Let me just draw this in there. And this is why we'll see this in a couple of weeks. Uh, what exactly what happened? Look back in history and see what happened. But the transports made a high on the 31st of July. 
a recovery, not an all-time high. All-time high is 282. This went, it's fantastic that it went off to this huge bear market. It made this beautiful cup formation and actually ran up all the way to 267. I mean, really, uh, it's, it's eight points, six, seven, eight points away as it's moving up. Huh? Amazing. And then at this peak D, in the Chapman Wave methodology, you always that fourth highest peak. You've got to be careful. It gets to that peak D in, in this measured move from the left side to the right side with a plumb line right there. <coughs> didn't quite make it. It didn't make it to the last major peak, which was on the left side of the first week of the 1st of April, uh, 276.87. So it just missed that as well. And now it's having a digestive phase. Now, this is what I was talking about just as we were going to go to the break. You can use time. You can use speed. Or you can use both. And that's what we're seeing right now. Look at the way this is not turned pink. The nine period moving average, even though you've got this top at a peak E in the Chapman wave, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight bars, and it's still all lower. Everyone's got a lower high and a lower low, just about everyone, and yet it hasn't turned pink. But it should turn pink. And then we're going to see what happens with the stochastics already down at 21%. So this is a very important moment in the market. Why? Because there are a lot of stocks that have been absolutely on a tear. I mean, we spoke about Apple just a moment ago. spoke about Amazon. Let's go to Meta. Oh, I can't say it. It's always so hard for me to say Meta. Meta platforms, um, Facebook, really. Meta platforms um, makes this peak G slash C up at, the, at a high, uh, not an all-time high. That was a 384.33 back in September of 21, but it does get to 326. Uh, not bad, still 60 points. That's a long way. And then what does it do? It gaps up, news pulls back, it's about to fill that gap, and look at this, peak F, there's your up channel in the weekly chart. So I'm watching these, look at the slow move, you're still, the nine is still way, I'll show you in this particular, we'll go to Meta right here. Look, Meta, this is a daily chart, Meta. Look, nothing, the nine period moving average is still not turned down. In fact, this is the irony of the whole thing. Since, oh, I'm embarrassed to do this, at any point, since I hate to do this, since the 17th of November of 2022, when the stock was trading between 109 and 112, you could have bought Meta because if you were waiting for the pink nine period moving average to this day at 305, that nine period moving average, this is a daily chart. I mean, this is incredible that we've had these kinds of moves in the market. It still has, I think this is the move that's going to take it pink, but it hasn't done that yet. Down 7.60, Meta, 305.05. We're watching this really closely. Tesla, Tesla took a long time. It took from May at the 17th at 167 all the way to right there on the 26th at 268. Uh, I mean, and now it's pink, and it's got a little problem. It's down uh, almost six, uh, now almost seven, at uh, 242. I love this particular indicator. I call it the indicator of last resort, just as the Federal Reserve is the bank of last resort. So now a couple of questions have come in. Let me just see uh, over there. Uh, yes. So we have to look at the VIX index. We don't have to. I want to look at the VIX index. Why? Because the speed with which, okay, I'll slow down here. The speed with which it took off when it hit, look at the low on the 22nd of June at 12.73. Let me type that in here so I don't have to keep 12.73. And of course, I can't remember yet, June 25th, I think, or 20, whatever it is, June the 20. Uh, let's make it the 23rd for the moment. I'll change that. And this low right here at 12.74 is one penny above. Oh, I didn't do that correctly. No, I did. One penny above. So that means this is still active as the starting point at 12.73. Now, I don't use the Chapman methodology with the peaks um, as, as much in the uh, that was the uh, that was June. All right, I'll change that. Um, 
do the next make the 25th i'll be back and change these in a minute um because this was lower than that back in july um, this is continuing this B, but you've got to count because that's the starting point right here. And I don't use this in the um, I don't use this in the the Chamberlain methodology in the VIX index. It's the only thing that is an emotional thing. It can go. You can see the Azure Peak C way up at 30 back in March, and then it plummets down to a lower low. But in fact, it doesn't matter. I, I do notate them, but I wanted to show you this peak. This is 12.73. Uh, June started some topping action in some sectors, but all of a sudden it keeps popping up, popping up, and then comes all the way back down in this pattern that I call the dreaded H, but it held the left side low. So that's really important because if it triggers a buy signal after that with the stochastic running sharply and the MACD very good, and then the nine turning up, it says there's power to the upside. So in this case, because that's the starting point, I remember now why I did this. This is A, this is B, this is C, that's a D. That's your buy signal to buy mode. Pulls back sharply. This is a continuation pattern, E, and then F slash B. The 200 period moving average of the VIX index, that's the volatility index, is at 18.51. And my concern was that the speed with which it ran up could start to see a quick pullback. In this case, it didn't pull back to that low. Look, this big spike that we had four sessions ago with the low of 1457. The low today was at 1538 and it's holding quite nicely. If the VIX index, I'll use this as an indicator, if the VIX index in the next two, three days, that includes say Friday and maybe even going into Monday, holds above 15.15 and actually spikes into the 1750s and then closes any day. If it closes towards the 18th, I think the selling pressure will increase. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting for Tom O'Brien on this Wednesday, the 9th. Right back. And the down right now is uh, down 154. We'll be right. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. 
First time subscribers also get a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24 7 newsletter today. DFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, to Ryan with Tiger TV. We are looking at peak Ds. This is the fourth highest peaks in the Champagne methodology. That's where other things can happen. Look at this E mini. This 10 minute ch chart went at 5.20 this morning and went to 45.36. And then it came tumbling down, went to a trough D. And then what did it do? It rallied strongly uh, to about a 61.3, uh, 618 uh, recovery. Right there, a little bit high, it went to peak D and now it's arching over. We're always looking at straight line up or down or couple arch formation in the Chapman Way methodology. That's how important that is. And now I'm going to go back here and show you a couple of things. No, I keep hitting the wrong charts because I'm not used to, uh, I had to change something during the opening segment. Um, here's the Dow. Look, with all of the noise that's going on, it's down 174 it hasn't taken out yesterday's low. So this is where we talk about um, this is time that's being used before you get the acceleration to the downside. It's not time and price. If you're looking at time and price, you're looking at gold, which rushed to the upside straight up, peak E, and an arch formation's come down. It's got one more day to try for the left side low of 1940. Here it is at 1949. I'll be doing this in my show tomorrow, the Tiger Technician's Hour. So before we wrap up, I want to do a couple of things and just say this is my outlook at this particular point. Um, I'm not, I don't want to talk in the book, but in the meantime, the Dow, I'm anticipating that the high that we saw, it's going to be a high that's going to be important. 35.679 on the 1st of August. We actually managed using this particular blue line right here to short right at the top. Uh, if that works, we'll see. Time alone can tell. But most importantly, if the SMHs, the semiconductors, which usually lead the markets up and lead the markets down, this peak at 161.17 on the 31st of July, and then I must mention uh, subscribers uh, short from uh, 159 uh, right here. I'm just watching this closely because if any time in the next week there is a close below 144, 145 to 144, this could become quite a bit more serious because it breaks that weekly uh, 43 moving average. Have a wonderful rest of the uh, evening. Uh, Tom will be back tomorrow. Basil Chapman signing off. And thank you for being here. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. I'll see you at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Otherwise, tomorrow, Tom will be back at 4. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems important.